Hey friends and good afternoon. It is Thursday, February the 9th and we are about to head out. I have a couple errands to run and one of those is to get my hair trimmed. It has been months since I've got some trimmed off my hair. I don't know if you can see or not, but it's time. It's time to go get a trim. I don't think I'm going to get much length off. I was thinking about taking maybe a few inches off. I don't know. We'll just see, I guess, once we get there. Um, but that's where we're going to go first. And then we're going to go to our P.O. box. The kids want to check that because I think they're expecting a letter from the pen pal in there. And I have chicken and rice going in the crock pot. So we are about to leave. And while we're leaving, I will show you all that chicken and rice recipe. I think I made this. It's been a few years since I made it. I mean, I've made chicken and rice since then, but just different ways. So I'm going to show you that recipe now. Um, we're going to get the car. Are you ready, Nat? All right, y'all. For dinner, we're having crock pot chicken and rice. So I'm going to show you everything to put in in order. So the first thing we're going to put in is a one and a half cups of rice. Almost a cup of water, but not quite a whole cup. Now we're going to go in with two cans of cream of chicken soup and one can of cream of mushroom. If I had a cream of celery, I would replace one of these cream of chickens and do that instead because it calls for celery in this recipe, but I don't have any. So we're just going to do two cans of cream of chicken and one can of cream of mushroom. All right, so now we're going to combine these soups, the liquid, and the rice. And then once we have all of this kind of combined in together, we're going to layer our chicken on top of this. All right, now I have two big packs of chicken to go on top of this. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. All right, I've got the chicken in there. And at this point, you could add onion and celery, which I am not. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then now we're just going to cook this on low between five and six hours. I wore short sleeves because the weather said it was going to be almost 70 today. But here I come outside and it's damp and cold. All right, so I'm all done with my hair trim. I got her just... A I didn't get much off. Maybe an inch, inch and a half, something like that. It's okay, Millie. Are you getting hungry back there? <laughs> it's almost one, so the kids requested McDonald's for lunch, so we're here at McDonald's waiting for our food to come out. Kids meals for everybody. So we're back home now and of course I had to fix myself some afternoon coffee. I didn't fix that much though. Not, not as much as I do in the morning. Just a little bit of coffee this afternoon. Alright so it is time to cook some sides to go with our chicken and rice. So I've got this bag of frozen green beans that I got in the freezer. So I'm going to cook these as a side. I'm just going to put them in a pot. Add some chicken broth, salt, pepper, um, a little bit of bacon grease and a little bit of onion to it and then we're just going to let that boil. These are some really good fresh looking green beans too even though they've been frozen. <laughs> She's walking around the house looking for Nat. You looking for big sister Nat? Add some bacon grease in there just a little bit about a spoonful. Look. Look Millie. Are you looking for Natalie? Here's Nat. Yeah, let me get something out of here, okay? I got to get, oh, I got to get a knife to cut the onion. Don't y'all love my organization skills over here? Sometimes I get fed up with this and I'll organize it, but today's not the day. All right, so I don't have any onion to add to it like I thought I did, so I'm just going to add some salt and pepper to this. Put the lid on it and let it cook for about an hour and a half to two hours. This little cutie's outside playing while it feels good out here. What are you playing? The floor is lava. The floor is lava. <laughs> is anyone playing with you? Nope. You're just playing by yourself? Mm -hmm. Well, the dog was over there beside her. What's in your hand? Willie's um, playing the floor is lava with me. See? Oh, Willie's playing the floor is lava with you? Yeah. <laughs> What's in your hand? A feather. A feather, chicken feather. But I don't know what it is. It's not a chicken feather. Yes, yeah, chicken feather. 
You gonna shut the gate for us? Uh, You're shutting it. Thank you. Good job. All right, y'all, so it's after dinner now, and all the cleanup is done, except just a few dishes that need to be loaded. So anyway, we have been telling the girls um, all week long that Thursday night we would go out and get ice cream because we haven't took them to get ice cream in a long time, and they love our favorite little ice cream shop just as much as we do. So tonight's the night we told them we would take them. Since we've already had dinner, we've got cleanup done, we're gonna head out and get some ice cream. All right, so our little ice cream shop was actually really full. They had a lot of people in there tonight, so we decided to come to Dairy Queen and get blizzards, which we haven't done this in forever either, so everybody's getting a blizzard. Josh wanted cotton candy, but they don't have cotton candy. What'd you get instead? Just a uh, vanilla cone. Oh, yeah. Big roll ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. We don't like just plain vanilla, do we? We like flavor. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. I like... What if it fell while they did it? I got the Reese's blizzard and Josh's is really messy it's actually got some chocolate on there are you expecting the chocolate <laughs> all right y'all so it is now the next day it's Friday it's in the afternoon the kids are taking some time to fill out Valentine's cards because we have they have a Sunday school party a little Valentine's party Sunday morning so they are filling out Valentine's right now these are all the Valentine's cards that we got for 50 cent a box last week that I told y'all about so now they're just going through their list of their friends on there and making out cards. Emily actually went downstairs to get us some permanent markers because the back of these um, have kind of like that real slick, like a back of a picture almost. So it, the pen's not really working too good on that. So she went to get us a permanent marker to use. Look at Everly over here. She's over here drawing a picture on hers. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. What's that? A banana. Uh, you drew a banana. Look at you go, girl. No, I so earlier I had to go to Walmart I needed to get a big box of diapers because I'm about out but I looked in the Valentine's section and they had these y'all I didn't see these last time but they're just the Valentine's Day um, tablecloths but they're paper activity table color how cool is that so I'm gonna put these on the table Tuesday and just let the kids color on them throughout the day while we're doing school when we um, have our Valentine's dinner all of that fun stuff I just I actually got two of them because our table is pretty long and I wanted to cover the whole thing so all the kids could reach to color. So that'll be fun. So the kids have went outside to play now since the weather's nice and it's not raining or anything. And Josh is moving that little white playhouse beside the house because I told y'all um, a few vlogs ago that we're going to take that old playhouse that the girls used to have and make it into a chicken coop. We're just going to put like a runner on the side of it and use the inside for like... Um, they're laying boxes and feed and things like that. So he's getting that moved now. But anyway, I think that is going to be it for today's vlog. I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us once again. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below for you leave today. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye y'all.